If you've ever seen someone multiply numbers and do this, there's a reason for that. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, sorry to the bosses ko medyo raspy na tayo, but that's because I've been filming lesson after lesson so that hopefully makaabot sa inyo if you're taking the exam para magamit nyo pa sa inyong susunod na exam. Alright? So again, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe para hindi nyo yun. Miss. Now, today, like I said in the intro, we're going to talk about finger math or basically using your fingers to help you when it comes to multiplying numbers. Lalo na kung hindi mo memorize yung multiplication table, that's a good way to go about doing it. So, I just want to thank really quickly yung mga team like our review group members na nag-request nito. Thank you kay Ate Anne Hinanay, nagsimula ng conversation, kaya na-request tuloy na gawin tong video na ito. This one is specifically for you guys. Alright, now in order for me to demonstrate it, hindi ako switch over to my PC kasi hindi ko yun mapapakita sa PC. I'm actually going to film my fingers. Uh, I'm going to switch yung aking viewpoint from this to dito, sa, para makita yung fingers ko. And uh, I'm going to do it right now. Alright, so pag-uusapan natin yung finger multiplication na technique. Now, most of you baka hindi pa to alam. This is one of the most requested na topics sa website natin ngayon and sa Team Like a Review Group. So, ito-demonstrate ko sa inyo kung paano siya gawin. Now, again, depende na yan sa inyo kung ano ang mas mabilis for you guys. If memorize nyo ang multiplication table, that would help. Kung mabilis kayo mag-add, that can help then. Pero this would be a great way for you to multiply numbers, especially numbers 6 to 10 by a number na 6 to 10 then. So, for example, if you deal with 8 times 9, 7 times 8, 6 times 9, or 6 times 7, all of those numbers, you can use your fingers for that. Now, let's start with one hand first. The idea behind this is that each finger stands for a number. So, for example, ang iyong pinky ay 6, this will be 7, this is 8, 9, and 10. Now, of course, sa exam, you're not allowed to write anything on your fingers. Pero ang, ang madali lang dyan is, lahat yan lalagpas na yan ng 5. Okay? So, again, itong technique na ito is if you're multiplying numbers na mas malaki sa 5. So, this will be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Now, yung same na numbers will have their counterparts dun sa imumultiply mong number, which is your right hand. Okay? So, ito rin, 6 din siya, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, if I'm multiplying numbers, all I have to do is to match these. Now, this is the part that I need you to pay attention to kasi baka hindi natin maintindihan right away. But if, if in case hindi nyo siya pick up right away, that's the reason why this is up on YouTube. You can always go back and re-watch it. Okay? Let's take a problem like 8 times 7. Now, ang 8 times 7, if hindi kayo mabilis sa multiplication table or hindi kayo mabilis mag-add, that can pose a bit of a problem for you guys. But what you're going to do here lang would be, you pick out yung 8, okay? So, pagsasamasamahin mo yung fingers mo, 6, 7, and 8, kasi 8 yung multiply mo sa left side. And then, yung 7 sa kabila would be like this, okay? So, basically, isa-separate mo yung dalawang fingers from the other 3, Okay? Now, itong 8 and 7 ngayon, these will be 10s. Each of them will stand for a 10. Okay? So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, limang 10. Now, ako, when I use this technique, uh, well, I used to do this when I was a kid then kahit pa paano, pinagsasama-sama ko sila sa baba. That way, alam ko meron akong limang 10 or 50 right away. Okay? So, 50 na agad yan. Okay? So, again, 50... And then, yung mga natitira, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply them sa isa't isa. So, ang natitira sa left side ay 2, natitira sa right side ay 3. So, ang gagawin mo would be 2 times 3, which is going to give you 6. And then, ang gagawin mo, idadagdag mo lang sila doon sa 50 na meron ka na. So, that would give you 56. 8 times 7 is 56. Okay? Now, again, kung ano yung number na ito, ihiwalay mo yung... Digits na yon, ihiwalay mo rin yun dito, pagsasamahin mo sila, they will stand for 1, 10 each. Ibig sabihin, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then yung natitira, imumultiply mo sila sa isa't isa. So, 2 times 3 is 6. 
So, add mo lang 56. Yun yung finger math na technique. Okay? Now, paano naman, for example, if you're dealing with, sabi na natin, 9 times 7. Okay? Ang pwede mong gawin yan would be, again, etong 9. Ito yung pang-apat. So, pagsasama-sama yung mga silang apat, may matitirang isa. And then, 7. This will be like this. Dalawa. May iwa-iwa na tatlo. So, this will be, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60. And then, 1 times 3, which will be 3. So, 63. Okay? Ganun lang siya for each of the combinations. Alright? Now, let's try if magagawa niyo siya really fast. I'm going to give you a quick quiz. And at the end of the quick quiz, i-explain natin yung mga answers. Alright? So, first question is 7 times 7. So, using our fingers, that would just be 7 and 7. So, you have 40 and then you have 3 times 3, which is 9. So, 40 and then 9, 49. Next, we have 9 times 8. So, again, using our fingers, 9 and then 8. So, you have here 7 sila na 10. So, 70. Tapos plus 1 times 2 or 2, 72. Next is 7 times 6. So, 7 times 6, ang gagawin lang natin, 7 times 6. Now, this part can be a bit tricky kasi lumagpas sa 10 yung natitira. So, again, you have 30, dito tatlong 10, tapos you have 3 times 4, which is 12. So, ang gagawin mo lang, 30 plus 12, so you're going to have 42. Okay? Next problem is 8 times 8. So, 8 times 8 would be like this, 8 siya. And then this, 8 din siya. So, anim na 10, 60. That's 2 times 2, which is 4, 64. Yung last is 9 times 9. So, 9 times 9, if you're going to use finger math, apat sa kabilang side, apat sa kabilang side, kasi ng 9. So, you have 80, and then 1 times 1, which is 1. So, 81. Now, there's actually another technique when we're dealing with multiplying by 9. So, for example, dun sa ating question number 2, 9 times 8, what you could do would be actually just to fold yung iyong pang 8 na digit. So, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dahil 9 times 8, if you fold mo lang itong digit na to, okay, kasi yung number 8, okay, 9 times 8, and then you will be left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2. The answer is 70. Two. That only works for 9. So, for example, yung last, which is 9 times 9, all I have to do is to fold yung number 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fold ko lang ito. 
as you can see, the answer would be 8, 1, or 81. That's how it is for 9. So 9 times 3 would like be like that, 20, and then 7. Alright? If you want me to make a video on that, let me know na lang sa comments sa baba. And for more exercises, you can always answer yung quick questions natin on YouTube. So if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla. Doon sa Instagram for more quick questions para makita natin if natutunan nyo na talaga siya. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo ako mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash for more information. And if you want to get one of these shirts, you can click on the link that's in the description sa baba. Alright, thanks guys. And as you always see dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kaya nyan, I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.